Well, kids, it's a celebration of sorts as we pop the cork on all kinds of wild side fun. Yes, indeed, it's been a crazy ride around the world bringing you all that is marginally safe for television consumption. Canada, Tahiti, Brazil, Russia, and of course, the good old US of A. No one, nowhere, no how is safe from the prying eyes of the wild side. Come, Come to Tampa, Tampa, baby! Welcome to the Emerald Cup! Only in LA, right? Baby, in Costa Rica! San Diego! Daytona Beach! What are you There, there now. Come on, it's gonna be okay. Why don't you crack open a cold one? It's time for the best of the wild side. Just drive it like you stole it, baby. It's life. Kato Kalen here at the Hawaiian Tropic Open. You probably remember me from last week's screen door open. Hey, Mom, close that. There's flies coming in. No, but I do a lot of the golfing. We got celebrities. We got.
and what's your handicap? 26. Mm. Mine is that I stutter. Oh, I can't believe where I bumped into one of my dearest friends, Jeff Davis. Hey, Jeff, it's kind of early to be drinking. Why do you drink? I drink to forget. Forget what? I don't know. I forgot that a long time ago. Oh, Jeff. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at this cute girl right here. Oh, my gosh. Look at She's actually doing the miniature golf tournament. Yes, you know? I am. Listen, we're having a caddy auction starting up in a few minutes. Now, the caddy auction means what? Close enough, I'll answer for you. A woman of very few words. It doesn't matter. She looks that good, she doesn't need to speak. That means that we're gonna auction off these beautiful girls. Guys are gonna bid them and they will be the caddy for them on the 18 holes. Look, look who just came in. She's wearing her pajamas from last night. It doesn't matter. Have you ever actually golfed, Olga? What do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I think I love you. Oh my gosh, we're walking out to the putting green as these beautiful ladies walk by. This is part of the caddy auction. Here they come, one, two, 17, 38. What is your name? My name's Isha from Australia, Melbourne. Well, you're beautiful, and you're gonna be part of this caddy auction. I'm sure it's gonna go just well, very well for you, and someone's gonna put up a lot of money for you to ride with them. I'm excited. Well, I think that's sort of flattering, isn't it? It is. You know, I was auctioned off um, for charity the other night, and yeah, I think I scored $300. Yeah, for you're, charity. You're kidding me, I had charity in my room last night. Hey, get out of here, charity. Listen, whenever you get the opportunity to party with a bunch of extreme team playmates at the Palms, I highly recommend it. A PG-13 Olympics of sorts, taking place in a party central atmosphere. Just our style. Wake the kids and neighbors, it's all about Playboy Extreme Team Weekend. Uh, past and present playmates frolicking about in high-spirited athletic competition. Stop me, we're out of control here at the Palms Casino Resort. Now I'm frightened. I was frightened before being around the other girls, but this girl is the captain of the Extreme Team, so she's very tough. Should we give them this sound? Watch it. Yeah. Oh my god, that's rock hard. <laughs> yeah. Give me the list of activities this weekend. This weekend is just off the hook with activities. We have rock climbing, we have mechanical bull riding, we have the bunny bounce, we have the sky zone, but it's gonna be really exciting. It's the first time in team history to have 20 girls together. Whoa, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Let's explain what's about to happen. Right over here, we got some guys from Boston. What's up? Woo! We're gonna see how much his throat has intake for. All right, stand by. Let me talk to Kevin. Some playmates are about to get you drunk, buddy. Okay. Are you down? Yes. Three, two, one, go! Bring it down, buddy, bring it down! They're gonna, they're gonna kill him! They're trying to kill Kevin! Chicks are unreal, man. This is top shelf. I know guys are big fans of getting the girls <laughs> on the trampoline and so forth. Do we like the mechanical bull? Hell yeah. It shows how they can ride. You know what I'm talking about, Art. <laughs> how many shots did he just do? I think Kevin just did about 12 shots in a row. Shot and let me tell you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Kevin, talk to us, buddy. What are, how, what are the, how? All right, guys, we're, we've been hanging out with the mermaids. We're having fun. You know what we're going to do now? You're excited. You're watching this show and you're having a good time, right? Oh, yeah. Would you like to check in with Jen and see what she's up to? Where is Jen sure. at? That's exactly. That's my question. Where? Water? No, where is Jen at? Jen, where are you at? I'm ripping through Mexico and hanging out with the rockin' bikini destination models and soaking up the best that Cabo San Lucas has to offer. And let me tell you something, kids, there is nothing like chilling out on a big yacht watching the sun go down. Of course, being the first choice destination for those in search of nighttime pleasure, Cabo aims to please. First stop, the Giggling Marlin. We're here at the Giggling Marlin where this place can really get you turned upside down, literally. So. <laughs> we'll see what it has to do. Well, the Giggle Morning is the pioneer. You know, Cabo San Lucas has been around the party nightlife for at least 25 years. 
and the Kegel Mall has been here since the beginning, the first spot to open up, and you know, nightlife has been wild ever since. Uh, we're also known for hating people upside down. Yeah. Give you shots upside down and kamikazes. Uh -huh. and basically, it's you instead of the Marlins, you know? Okay. A little payback from the Marlins that uh, people hang upside down. Now, I hear that there's something special about this place, so that there's a show. Oh, there's a show. There's a show where we get people to do things they probably will never do back at home, you know, because that's the nice thing about down here. No more than four people know you, so you get to get wild, loosen up, and just be maybe yourself, but maybe in a wild side of yourself. I think they said no booty shaking. Nuh-uh! That's what I thought I heard. That's our specialty! That's yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any prior uh, bikini contest experience? I won one in Puerto Vallarta. Yes! Yeah. She's a veteran right here. Previous winner. That's good to yell that. It's a little intimidating to the other girls. Yeah, we've already had one winner. What are the rules? What can we do? Can't do. The rules are we want you to look very, very sexy, very, very pretty. Get up there and have a good time. You want to show all of your people back home that you guys are the best spring breakers. You know, dance a little bit. It is spring break, but do not dance nasty. No hump in the ground. Do not get on all fours crawling. <laughs> you know, I wonder if before the Super Bowl, the ref goes out there and tells the captains, no hump in the ground. No hump in the ground. We want you guys to look beautiful. Get up there, have a good time, wave to the crowd, play it up with the crowd, and just smile. Now get drunk! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you win the money, what are you going to do with the cash? We're going to split it. We're going to split it. And what are you going to buy? Um, lots of alcohol. I do got one winner from Indiana, Megan. The Kino Contest. Guys, it's awesome. It's amazing. Hey, it's me again, Kato Kale on the Hawaiian Tropic Open. Now, hey, what hole are we on? Hole number eight is the longest drive contest. I won this last year. I came from Chicago to LA. Hell of a drive. You golf a lot? Uh, not really. Have you ever golfed? A little bit. You're with the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. That's right. I'm a huge fan, Jarrett. Knock the puck out of the ball. <laughs> okay. Do your stuff. Thanks. Quiet, Jarrett's hitting. He didn't play much, so be nice to him. Oh! oh. <laughs> he hit the sign. Oh. 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 
He hit the, Jared just hit the second nude dancer. Someone give Jared one more ball. We gotta see if you can knock out the whole crew. During its amazing 850 year history, Moscow has had every sort of political government imaginable and the characters to match. Ivan the Terrible, Peter the Great, Lenin, and Stalin are some of the bigger than life leaders that shape the city and the country. Oh, sorry. That's right. This is the wild side. From the revolution of 1917 until the perestroika era of the 80s, Russia lived under the oppressive iron fist of the communist regime. Well, no more. Moscovites are reveling in their newfound freedom and show no signs of slowing down. We're here at Shambhala, one of the hottest dance clubs in all of Moscow. Let's see how the Russian girls get wild. to the hookah room. I hope that's tobacco. <laughs> seen other TV shows, right? And they'll do a little pub crawl and people might walk around to a couple different clubs. Take a look at this. Hundreds of people. Buses that just go on as far as you can see. They go all the way around this corner. These people have already started drinking and it's like 2 p.m. right now. And I believe we're gonna go for, oh, I don't know, 12 hours. So my friends, if you like to see different clubs around the world, do you like to see drunk people? You tune into the right show today. You're gonna see both. Who knows where we're going first? You? I don't know. Which do we care? Not even a little bit. <laughs> you know where we're going first? I'm not sure, but whatever. I think it'll be fine. Once we get there, it'll be just fine. I'm sure. You know what it'll probably have there? There'll probably be some booze. Yeah, probably. And then there'll be some, uh, some loud music. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm counting on it. The first stop on this pub crawl, a little place called Ranchman's. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. This is unbelievable. Why should people drop in here? I gotta tell you, the foundation of our business is built on cowboys. So when we talk about Stampede, those guys at Mount Bulls and ride horses, they all come down here afterwards, after the event. Ranchman's a pretty good spot. You got the mechanical bull over there, lots of women. It's a great spot. Can't beat it. Yeah. I feel very uncomfortable right now watching you. Oh, no, do you like it? Do you like it? What's next? Do we know what the next stop is? Yeah, we're going to Outlaws next. All right, we're heading out of here now. Ow! <laughs> the guy's head almost popped.
because it's early in the day, it right? Early. You're sitting in here inside Outlaws. Yep. The bus is full up. Describe to them at home what happened. What happened? People pour in here and they start drinking like crazy. It's a party out there. You got that right. How many drinks have you had today, my friend? Uh, including this bar, about a hundred. Nice! Tell them what our next stop is right here. Uh, I have no idea what this bar is, it's but we're having whiskey. a fucking... It's the whiskey, but we're having a great time. Whiskey Saloon! We're going to the Whiskey Saloon, Ladies Night Thursday. Research <laughs> has shown that their swollen bellies are due to malnutrition. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna go inside right now. Tell them what, what this club is all about. I have no idea. I'm from New Jersey and this place is amazing. <laughs> That's a pervert, the guy with the camera. I can tell. <laughs> Show us the drink count. I can't count this hard. It's a good thing you're a freaking mountain, otherwise you'd be really hammered right now. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We have been on this pub crawl all day. Where are we now? She doesn't even know. You don't even know. Everybody's so hyper here. Awesome. And check this out. Here's what they've done for Stampede. They set up a giant tent outdoors. And Steve, show them this crowd. Care about the chuck wagon races? No, it's about drinking and partying. <laughs> That's it. Look at this crowd. Say goodbye to everybody. You have to jump right over this, okay, Jen? You have to go like that. <laughs> nice, uh, dopey little smiley face on your helmet. <laughs> <laughs> She only fights with people. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, you're a stomach off!